In our junior gilt uh, division, uh, entry number one, the red belted gilt, I think is fairly sound in her structure. I appreciate her depth of body and her arch and curvature there to her rib. Uh, she's wide based and wide tracking and fairly sound within her structure. Ideally, I might change her. She's a little more pushed forward with her shoulder blade placement. Uh, that's why she kind of has a little bit of a break there uh, where that white section is over the top of her, of her back. I would like for that to be a little bit stronger there, specifically right behind those shoulder blades if I could. Uh, but she's a sound structured entry. I think once again gives us a good amount of definition there as well. It's a little bit more difficult to, to evaluate her uh, her waddle placement, but I think once again a high quality female uh, that has some soundness and structure and volume in a complete pack. Entry number two is very, very athletic, out here on the move, likes to get out and run uh, with a lot of flexibility and durability. The pig is a little bit smaller in her overall frame size and condition. I'd like to give her just a little more elevation if I can to balance her up uh, from a profile standpoint. She gets a little bit shorter, I think, up to that head and that neck and maybe doesn't blend in as smooth to those shoulder blades as well. I think once again, she's very athletic. I'd like to just open her up with a little more uh, frame size and extension, give her a little bit better width of base from behind. Entry number three is the ginger and black spotted female that once again best combines some structure and volume to the highest degree. I appreciate her depth of body and her extension uh, that she possesses. She moves out with some athleticism and structure. In addition to she's fairly big and bold within her rib shape and carries that down to a deeper flank uh, at the same point in time. Ideally I might make her just a bit stouter in her overall bone work if I could. Give her just a little more extension up to that head and that neck to blend it in a little more smoother to make it look a little more feminine in her overall appearance. But I appreciate her width that she has, her soundness and structure and volume, a really nice complete type of female. Entry number four, the black and white uh, spotted entry, I think once again gives us a good amount of athleticism there to her. In addition, I do appreciate kind of her width that she has between her forehead and as well as her ear placement. She too has, looks like she's fairly good with her waddle placement and dimension there as well. Uh, I might change this female just a little bit there by giving her some more width as she comes towards me and goes away from me, uh, but she certainly has a decent amount of structure and volume and athleticism there to her. I appreciate her big and boldness there to her, uh, but once again, just open her up if I could uh, from the ground up and the rump forward to make her just a little more ideal. Entry number five is another one that's black and white spotted. She's more predominantly black, and as she goes away from me, that's where I need to open this one up with more width of base uh, as she goes away, but certainly I think she handles that rear leg structure fairly well. Uh, I like her roundness of top and her big and boldness within her center body depth and dimension. She too looks like she's pulled apart fairly well up with those shoulder blade placement. I would ideally like to change how she handles herself from a structural standpoint on those front feet and legs. Uh, she really takes a big stride, but something I would like to correct if I could uh, from a structural standpoint. Entry number six is, is an interesting uh, color pattern with on this this female I think once again the more predominantly white female with some black spots uh, does a fairly decent job with certainly getting us some good amount of depth of body and in depth of volume there to her at the same point in time she's maybe a little stouter in her bone work and some of the other contemporaries we see uh, within this class ideally I might make her just a little bigger in her kind uh, she gets lower in her front uh, meaning that her front shoulder blades are a little bit lower than maybe the point of of where her pins and her hooks are at. I would like to just give her a little more elevation up front if I can, and that's because she's down around those pasterns a little softer in her front pastern. So if we could correct that pastern set, correct her a little bit in her knee placement, and elevate her at the point of her shoulder higher, uh, certainly I think we would appreciate that female a little bit more, but she gives us a lot of good quality. Uh, we admire that about her uh, today within this class. Entry number seven is the the ginger and black spotted female. Uh, certainly one that once again we admire there for her decent amount of width of base that she possesses. Uh, and, and she certainly carries that depth of body and, and depth and center body definition there to her uh, from that standpoint. Uh, she certainly is wide up to those head where she's at, big and bold within her shoulders and gives us a decent amount of, of, of top shape and dimension there to her. Uh, we appreciate some of her breed characteristics as well. 
well. Uh, looks like her, her waddle placement is fairly good. Uh, we might give her just a bit more extension if I could up through her head and her neck uh, just to give her a little bit better balance from a profile. But a big deep body type of entry uh, that certainly has got a lot of volume and structure and is headed more towards the top of this class. Thank you.